everyone, Joel Hansen here in the beautiful downtown Detroit, here with my good friend Mr. George LoBianco. Now George is not joining me for the challenge today, but we are headed to the Hudson Cafe. Yes, that's right, the Hudson Cafe. So this place has been a downtown staple in the breakfast and brunch game. They're known for all their crazy pancakes, French toast, and awesome egg benedicts. So that's what we're gonna have today. In fact, we're gonna have one of their most special and famous egg benedicts called the Voodoo eggs benedict and today we are going to have an absolutely giant massive version of the voodoo eggs benedict so the eggs benedict uh the voodoo eggs benedict has uh, not only of course poached eggs uh it has a corn cake yes kind of like a cornbread a nice sweet little touch to it that's the base it also has a ranchero sauce, which they make there, a little spicy, and they also have a smoked chorizo. So it looks and sounds absolutely delicious. Of course, to top with a little bit of cheese. So I'm super excited for that. So again, absolutely giant, giant, giant eggs benedicts. It should be a lot of fun. For this challenge, I only have a mere 30 minutes. Yes, that's right, 30 minutes to actually get the meal for free. And if not, I believe it's somewhere around 80-ish dollars. So like we said, technically two giant eggs benedicts totaling about 12 eggs benedicts um, but yeah it should be a lot of fun apparently weighs about seven plus pounds uh, so ultimately let's tune on in and see what we can do and now let's go have some fun all right everyone so here we are with the benedicts they look very very delicious so these are absolutely massive so again this is the equivalent of 12 other uh, voodoo benedicts so the ultimate voodoo benedicts going on right here we have sweet we have savory of all the above it looks absolutely delicious i'm very 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 excited these are absolutely giant and uh, that's about it. So I'm so excited to dig into this. It should be a lot of fun. So ultimately, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, so let's get started here. I think maybe a spoon is the best approach, but we'll find out what the best way to eat this is. Um, but yeah, so very delicious looking. So let's get started. How about we say the count of five, four, three, two. Ooh, look at that, egg yolk. One, let's go. Ooh, oh yeah. Very flavorful. Oh wow, I'm getting like the corn cake on every bite. That chorizo. That ranchero sauce. That is so delicious. Man, the combinations are just so good. Definitely a little hot though. Hey everyone, welcome to Zidover Today. We're here at the Hudson Cafe. Yes, the Hudson Cafe in Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Um, so Detroit is a hell of a city. It's a really, really cool spot, um, very unique, and they have some really, really great food. Here being some of it. So here we are having these Voodoo Benedicts. So I've never had like a like I'm gonna call it like a very unique Benedict. I've had like you know a traditional eggs Benedict. You know sometimes with like smoked salmon on it, maybe some ham. But I never had one that was so different like this, where we have ranchero sauce, we have it on corn cakes. That is just fantastic. It provided like a sweet, a spicy, and then of course you have the lovely, lovely yolks, the savoriness of all of that there, which was just absolutely fantastic. And so while it was technically an Eggs Benedict, it was like no Eggs Benedict I had ever had before. And definitely, definitely, definitely an item that they said were very, they were very well known for here, and I can see why. This was such a cool, delicious dish. It was soft, like I said, it was so moist. The way it just all combined, uh, it was just like an absolute delicacy that I would love to really, really have again. I see why this is one of the favorite Benedicts here. So this place is also very well known, again, just for like their brunch and breakfast in general. They also had another uh, variety of items, which maybe I wanted to kind of try, I'll say, including some crazy pancakes, some different French toasts, etc. But focusing on the Bendix, I got to say, like this was just again absolutely fantastic. Um, now the two, there were two trays. The one I'm eating now was smaller than the one on the right of the screen, um, so I knew that this one was going to go a little quicker than that one. Um, but I just wanted to kind of start diving in, get into it, and man, oh man, like I said, the tastes were just absolutely fantastic. And uh, like I said, if you're ever in the area, stop on by and try. <laughs> Very delicious. How are you doing for time, George? Just under three minutes in. This is delicious. 
Just a little, little, little bit of heat. But man, sweet and savory and so good. I've never had a Benedict like this, but I would recommend. I'm a big fan. That tray was a little smaller than this one. But as I mentioned, we did have 30 minutes to actually complete this meal to get it for free. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's pretty much like pretty straightforward. Um, it weighed over seven pounds, uh, like between the two. And the reason why they like divvied it up is just it was a lot bigger than the actual uh, pan itself. Otherwise, it would have been in one. But nonetheless, this was the equivalence of 12 or just over 12 um, of their different uh, normal Voodoo Benedicts. So yeah, definitely a lot, a lot of food. Um, but would definitely recommend coming by and trying this. And another thing I have to applaud them for is the eggs were cooked perfectly. With that, everyone, I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Like I said, a very delicious dish. Um, if you've ever had anything like this, comment down below. Or actually, let me know what you think of Eggs Bendix. I'm a big fan of Eggs Bendix in every form I've had. So comment down below. Let me know what you think of Eggs Bendix. Um, and at that, I'm going to let you guys to the rest of the video. Of course, let's see what happens. delicious. I love the combinations. Oh. Definitely heating up though. A little spicy and then a temperature hot. Voodoo Benedict was absolutely fantastic. I guess I can say those 12. The Hudson Cafe really got it going on. The place has been down here for 10 years. And I see why they have just been pumping out good food since then. Absolutely enjoyed it. Huge courtesy to them. Thank you for putting in the little warmer on the bottom, the white warmer on the bottom of my pans to keep everything nice and hot and it really, really worked. The staff here have been fantastic. Can't say enough about the food. 
Uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you're ever downtown Detroit, you definitely gotta stop out by the Hudson Cafe. Big, big, big kudos to everybody here again. Delicious food, never had a Benedict like that. And I look forward to definitely having another next time I'm back in Detroit. Fantastic, loved it. So that was a good meal for free, which is pretty cool. And uh, that, that's about it. So guys, hope you enjoyed. There actually is a couple other items on the menu I'm maybe, maybe, maybe considering trying, um, but that was fantastic. So everybody, of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Maybe we'll get some more food. And at that, thank you so much. Of course. We're either be back, or if not, have a lovely day. And more downtown Detroit. Here on the right, we have uh, some of the waterfront which we're gonna get out to see. Look here on the ground, it says, to Canada. We will not be going to Canada because I'm over here in the US of A enjoying my freedom as an individual who is fully vaccinated. Thank you very much. Thank you, America. God bless America. Love you, Canada, but no, just not happening today. And some more downtown Detroit. And we are now officially on foot. Me and George, you're gonna check out the waterfront. Uh, basically, we're going to observe Canada from the side of the Americas. So here we go, right up here. As you can see, we're heading down towards the waterfront, which if you haven't been, is very, very beautiful down here in downtown Detroit. And uh, yeah, basically, should be fun. George has never, uh, George has never been down here before, so we're gonna show him around a little bit. Not that I'm super well versed, but I've been here a few times. And uh, that, let's just have some fun. We'll explore some things and that's about it. That's about it. And here we are down at the waterfront. That is Windsor, Ontario. That is Canada right there. And just across this waterway, this is America. So it's funny because like about halfway through the waterway is technically where the line stands uh, on the bridge, the bridge over there. That's the Ambassador Bridge or whatever. It was like a halfway point, and on that halfway point, uh, and on that halfway point, it says the split. It's an official sign somewhere what runs to the water. So it's kind of funny to think that like that boat is in America, and that boat or that boat is in Canada technically. So it's pretty funny how that all works. But uh, yeah, funny how closely it is. So just Windsor, Ontario. Detroit, Michigan, and that's why our borders are, you know, obviously so close together and our countries are so interdependent on travel and, and uh, trade and all that good stuff. But here are more of the down in town. But yeah, I really like it down here, the waterfront. Very, very nice. And we'll continue to show you a little bit more of this area. George, what do you think? It's nice, man. Yeah, really nice. And here we have the Detroit Princess, which is a big old steamboat, which I didn't even know existed until right now. Canada. U.S. Interesting. Very interesting. And again, further, just more of the downtown, just more of the waterfront. Definitely has changed a little bit. It's, I want to say it has, um, the new little project going on right there. This thing. And stairs here, which kind of blocked off, which is new since the last time I've been down here. So, it is, uh, it is changing. They are, uh, like I said, they are changing the downtown, that's for sure. Here we got a great big mural. I guess it'd be like probably like a Ford dedicated mural. There's gonna be little Ford cars and ice cream truck in there, of course, which is pretty funny. Big, 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 huge piece. Right here on the water. Representing their property. And some big buildings. I think those are, I don't know, GM buildings or something. Dang, now the cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.